Hey guys, uh, welcome to College Netted Engineering with Bongani Gumede. So today we'll be doing mechanical inspection for your slip ring motor. And then uh, I've already written here the components and then we'll just have to do the findings and stuff. But remember, when you're doing your trade test or your, or your ARPL, they don't give you this. You must know them. So they want a minimum of 10. Eh? They want a minimum of 10, 6, 7, until 10. But these are the must. You must include them when you are doing your test. You remember on the video of um, the induction motor, you can take any test there and include them here so that they become 10. But these ones, it's a must. You, you know, in an in a induction motor, we don't do gear arm tests and the mounting gear and stuff. So here, We'll have to add seven, eight, nine until they are ten. But we can take the ones that are on the induction motor. Remember that video. Go and watch that video so that you can be able to add here. I will just explain only the must know six. That is why here I said the six must include. So this one you must include them no matter what. So you are going to inspect on your gear arm. Remember this video, I only teach you theory, and then I'll post another video. Your part two is where I will have the actual motor. So on the gear arm, you are going to check if um, the gear arm is not missing. If the gear arm is missing, you see, missing. So but if it's available, you are going to see available. And then is this acceptable? And then you say yes. And then for the mounting gear, you are going to check if it's secured. If it's not secured, you just write not secured. So if it's secured, you say secured. And then it's acceptable. And for the brush spring, for the brush spring, you are going to check if the brush spring has not lost its shape. That's the most important thing. When you take out the brush spring, you are checking if it has lost shape or it has not lost shape. But the engineering way that we will have to use is whether it's intact or it's not intact. So usually when your spring is straight, it has lost its position. I don't know why, why, why they say that. Uh, but if it, it has bent like this, it forms something like an L or a, a little a cab, it means that it's in shape, yeah. So your brush spring, if it's intact, you say intact. And then it's acceptable and say yes. And on the brushes, you are going to check if uh, your brushes are not broken. Remember, the brushes can be broken. It happens that your brushes gets broken. And you're going to check if um, your brushings your, your, your brush, your brushes, they don't have dents or they have dents. So if your brushes are not broken, just say they're not broken. But if they're broken, you say broken brushes. Broken. And you say, no, it's not acceptable. And on the bearings, you are going to check if there is no sound. You know, that funny sound that comes. If there's no uh, funny sound, just... Uh, Write on your brain and say no sound. There must be no sound when that motor is busy rotating. They don't want to hear go, 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 go. It must be as if it's silent. And if there's no sound, you say yes. And on the end plate, remember we did uh, the end plate. You just check if um, it has no dents or it has dents or if it's secure or not secured. So if it does not have dents, say no dents. No dents. But the end plate the, uh, is being repeated here again uh, on, on the slip ring. It's also there on the uh, induction motor. But remember, we still need 10, a minimum of 10. They need a minimum of 10, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go and watch the video of induction motor and take any one, two, three, four, any four, and then you add them here, and that's it. If there's no dent here, you'll say, you'll take here and say, 
it's acceptable. And again, also here, you need to write your conclusion also, the overall conclusion. They will ask you, uh, what's the overall conclusion? And the overall conclusion. But remember, you must write there until 10 and write your conclusion. Don't write after 6, then you write your conclusion. Go watch that video and you'll add your, your own here. And then your overall conclusion, you'll say motto. Motto has failed. Mechanical inspection. Inspection. Yeah. You don't explain and say because of ah the brushes were broken. No, no, no. Just say it has failed motor inspection. Remember, even though everything is right, but just one thing is wrong. It means that motor will still fail. Everything must be right for you to approve your motor. And one thing that one thing that I've realized when you are doing your ARPL or when you are doing your treatise is that they normally never give you a motor that is 100%. Because if they give you a motor that is working 100%, they can't trick you. But if they're giving you a motor that is not working properly, ah, then they can trick you. So yeah, this is the mechanical inspection for your slip ring uh, motor. And these are the six that you must know. And uh, that's it. Let's mix on the next video, which will be the part two for this one. And the part two, I'll have the actual motor where I explain, I show you everything, how everything functions. Shop, shop.